Your website comes equipped with an editor that allows you to make updates to content such as text, images, and blog posts. Let's first walk through the process for setting up your editor account and logging in to make changes to your website. If your website designer or administrator hasn't already set up an account for you to edit your site, they can provide you with an invite email to create a password. My designer sent me the following invite email and I'll use it to set up my account. I'm here in my Gmail and my invite to set up my password has arrived. You can see in the email we have two links. The first link is for you to click on, set up your password and log in. And the link below that is the general login URL you can use to edit your site. So you may want to bookmark this and save it for the future if you plan to revisit the editor often. You also need to make note of your username. It's specified in the email. In this case, my username is video user. Keep that on hand as you'll need it to log into your site. So let's go ahead and click the first link and set up a password. So I'm here on the password setup screen and we just need to enter in a new password. Keep in mind to use something strong, we'll need eight or more characters with a mix of upper and lower case. Once I've entered my password, let's click change password. It says our password's been updated and now we can click login. In order to log in, we just need to enter our username. In this case, my user is video user and the password we just set up. Then click login. Once you've logged in your account, you can see a list of all the sites you have editing access to. We also have preview buttons and a stats button if you want to look at some of your site statistics. I'd like to make an edit to this site, so let's just click the edit button. Once we do that, we're brought into the site editor and from here we can make changes to the site. 